You did it. One mission, one wow. channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. Why should it be legal to have sex with animals? And I'll tell you why. <laughs> get away with it maybe once or twice but you can't keep having sex with animals they will find out about it but we'll talk about it later welcome to episode number 25 of the muddy and michael fully actual podcast <laughs> we are we are <laughs> tell them marty marty tell them what level. you did oh man so as you know we've been working out every day we're part of this 100 day challenge working out every day and it's been going well. We really started feeling really good, not drinking. I've e I even stopped smoking weed and just off everything. And I started feeling really like positive and motivated with work. I've been working on the weekends just because like I felt like it. Like I just, it's just been great. And then Michael, Michael calls me on Sunday and goes, oh, you know what we haven't done for ages? Maybe we should go play squash. Why don't we go play squash from <laughs> now on? Squash is such a cool, fun sport. It's not quite, he knew he wouldn't be able to get me with pickleball because pickleball is the f shit as little f plastic bat Whoa, shit thing that you better right. have hey, seen. Hey, actually, it's Look, not I'm that bad. just, I mean, an, an irritable, irritable. Let him and then, anyway, we go to squash. It's it's an intense workout. Things are going really well. Like the shoes I wore, I wear ten, wore tennis shoes, shredded by the end of this, completely shredded, which I think contributed to what happened to me. And then, like, you know, we played, it, it was the fourth set we played. Michael won the first two. I won the third set. Things were getting close. Things were heating up. And I was totally fucked. I did legs at the gym the day before too. So oh. everything was unsteady. Like jelly. Like it would, I'd, I'd stomp down and there'd be shaking like because my muscles couldn't handle it. So towards the ends of the sets, the beginning of the sets would be always really close. And then Michael had started to pull away as my fat and unfitness kind of took over and my legs were just fucked. But anyway, last set, last set I'm pretty sure you had like match point as well or point before match point. It was point. the point before and I was just, yeah. Yeah, about to win, I reckon, that point. Well, I don't know. I feel like I probably would have won that and then come back and won the fifth <laughs> set. So, I, I, like, I was pretty close to winning. But anyway, in the middle of a rally, I change directions, go to run forwards and just feel an explosion in the bottom of my foot. And I genuinely thought that some or somehow that Michael had hit me in the bottom of my foot because Michael was behind me when he was hitting his squash shot. So I was turning around. I was like, what the f*** was that? And then put weight down on my foot and it just felt real weird. <laughs> and then like we're still real warmed up obviously. So I sat down and it started getting more and more painful to walk on. And then I was like, for fuck's sake, I'm going to have to go to the hospital here. You looked yeah, me in the eye like I just struck you as hard as I could. That's what it shot. felt like. It and felt then like it, I've definitely realized it's the shoes because your foot has moved in the shoe, I reckon, and that's what's f***ed it up. It hasn't felt grounded. Well, as I as I took off, it was like it oh. changed direction and then as I, uh. as I pushed off with my right leg, something exploded in the bottom of my foot. Anyway, long story short, go to hospital. They do an x-ray, so there's no broken bones, but... And then I had to go do an MRI today, and um, I, I, I can't put any, I, zero weight on it. I, I, I cannot put any weight on it. It feels f***ing weird. If I'm not on endone, it's constantly aching and oh, hurting. Throbbing? Yeah, it's so like you, a, and, then, and it comes in yeah. waves. But the, by far the worst part, and I think you just left before this happened, Michael left the hospital and, and Mon was there with me, all of a sudden, I just started getting these insane cramps, probably the worst cramps I've, I've ever had, just in the bottom third of my calf muscle. Oh, I, was, I was nearly screaming. I was sat up and nearly started screaming, pressing the button for the nurse. So I didn't know what the f*** was going on. Oh. So apparently they think that because of the damage, my, my foot or something's been torn off my foot, that it's all just kind of radiating, radiating up my leg and my calf muscle was just like rock hard. So I was just sitting there trying to squeeze it out. And I can't, you can't stretch it because I can't pull my yeah, toes back oh. because that's the part that's f So I'm just literally sitting there like this, just like 10 out of 10 pain. And they're like, oh, sorry, there's not much we can do. So here, have some Valiums. And then they did kind of subside the, the, uh, the, the cramping. But anyway, so went home. I'm on crutches now. And now I've done the MRI. And now I have to wait two weeks to go to the specialist to tell me 
What's fucking wrong with my foot? You've gone from alcohol to weed to now endone. Yeah, and now, well, I've only got 10 <laughs> endones. They've only given me a script for 10. Have you gotten through? I would have gone through almost half by now. Yeah, I have gone through half. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's meant to be one every four hours. But, That's bullshit. But this morning was like I woke up at about 5 a.m. and then it was just throbbing, couldn't get back to sleep. And then that just put me in the shittest mood. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'll still be able to come in and work. Literally took me probably half an hour to get up to because I have to rest because this is the only leg. And I've just done legs at the gym two days before. So my oh. legs are already so i'm having to put all my weight on one leg i have to hop around and then have to have a break and like lean up against the wall hop around have a break so I'm like half an hour or just walk out the f door driving is extremely dangerous because i can't put my foot down all the way so i have to use like the the top of my foot and like either accelerate hard or brake hard and it's just just really just f pissed me off now and now how the f <laughs> am i gonna work out i'm gonna have to just do upper body or like abs i won't be able to do much cardio but i'm just in a real shit mood now because of this f***ing foot and it's going to make this whole 100 day challenge incredibly difficult this but will i'll help. do it this will help for sure and michael's learning how to do squirties because that's something i don't really do anymore either <laughs> dude your microphone is putrid dude it stinks here yeah well, well look firstly Luckily, driving is not important. It's not that dangerous. You or your left foot. Secondly, oh, yeah. I reckon make sure you rebook the doctor because you'll be able to get a second script out of him. I was when I fucked my knee. What? So I go back to the GP and go, just oh, a quick sesh and be like, it's really just play up the pain and they'll so give you a expensive. whole new expensive. That's you the go other bulk shit billing. Thing. Go That's bulk the other billing. shit thing about this shit. Like, yeah, go to a bulk billing doctor. Go to the doctor you sit there for a couple of hours and then oh yeah here's an x-ray it's probably not a broken bone but we're just going to rule it out anyway here's five four hundred dollars then go get an mri today oh another five hundred dollars oh go to the specialist that'll be another three hundred dollars anyway, you paid for your x-ray yes i paid for my x-ray because really? i wanted just to just get, get in private. there oh, and get it done it's okay? too hard through the public I, also look the only light at the end of the tunnel for you here right now is to go to the gp quickly get another script and you'll get a that's the matt's got endones yeah but he's <laughs> to like a scab about it in case, in case he gets kidney stones in his throat again hmm. and but <laughs> I, it's crazy that you need endones it must how bad must oh, it be oh, dude, endones a, aren't that foot good pain oh, no. endones are good it's, oh man it's a, just that's, a, that's a real drug addict comment you just it's say. a it's a bad combination because it's something's ripped off on the bottom of my foot and i can't stretch it or oh. anything so it's just in constant pain if i'm not yeah. on painkillers so that sucks but there was one really good piece of news that because i went to the hospital and they just as protocol they just take your blood pressure and fucking the blood pressure was good it was, it was near, well not 100 percent. it was 129 over 77 but i was yeah, perfect I, I just finished exercise like really intense exercise and a bit stressed about my foot so 129 over 77 I've, i haven't checked it for so long just because it scares the shit out of me so all these supplements and the genetic methylation test i did a fucking work gary Becker fixed you dude mm. all those cardiologists can just fucking suck my they should suck my <laughs> until i fuck down their fucking mouths for the shit they put me through the hell they put me through them if, if i had if they had it their way i'd be on blood pressure medication now and still have no idea that it's my nervous system that's slowly killing me but my god that was nice to see that was the yeah. only nice thing silver yeah. lining well, that, yeah it is that's a big old silver lining yeah so other than that we've just been filming our tits off what did we filmed last week we did bloody um valium olympics <laughs> yeah that was a weird day oh man that was i can't remember much now yeah. i told you it, it, it affects your short-term memory when you have lots and lots and lots and lots of them. you're a liar downer on on them you like really? to just have a little lie down yeah there was I, a few times with me and elias had to be like michael come on we're filming let's go and you'd sort of pop up and yeah. <laughs> is that what happened yeah yeah shit i just have memories of getting like a fire and you really wanted hour to show. drive all day. Yeah, I drove home. Uh, yeah, drove it got worse that. towards the end of Lucky the day. Lucky that's you, not that important. And you said the same thing, like, because we had a fair few over that filming day. And then at the end of the day is when you're kind of like just fucked. And then I remember sleeping all day the next day. And then even then just a bit fucked. So. You guys came back to the house and you were 
fucking zombies. Yeah, I fell asleep on the couch. I never Yeah, you were that. gone and yeah, me and Michael wow. played Worms. Yeah, it was hard to like come back to reality, but yeah. we did it. Did the day go okay? Yeah, filming was quite funny. There was a funny moment that happened where right at the end where you shot that flaming arrow into Michael's bum. We were, you know, remember how we were next to yeah. the BMX track? A little BMX man was there and he rode his bike down just after you th- shot the flaming arrow at his bum. So naturally, Marty, you had Michael bent over. Like Elias is the camera there. You had his ass pulled apart and you're like looking in his ass at the damage that the fire did meanwhile there's just a guy standing behind you who clearly (laughs) wanted to say something because we were shooting arrows next to a bmx track first of all if you're watching mate have you tried minding your own business Go yeah, away. True. I have a vision God. of him just looking really cranky at us. Yeah. Did he see my he asshole? He decided. You no, know, because oh, your okay. asshole was facing the camera. Oh, well, but he saw you guys and then he decided, look, I, I don't think I have anything to say to them. <laughs> Did he sort of, I think inspecting? he thought you were lost causes. He was like, nah, like, I'm not going to get through to those yeah. people. Oh, yeah, we would have looked just insane. looking inside my ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so the three events we did was <laughs> gymnastics and then BMX ride and then archery and all all on Valium and then well, you'll see that'll be out yeah, on the website we did another funny. we went and hung out with Jackson last week we went to his house on Wednesday night and he had built like I'm the biggest joint I've ever seen in my life it was three and a half ounces of weed in one joint and we we hot boxed the uh, Jackson's car with it and that'll be a website video too that was insane but that was like like I was like pretty scared when we finished that because you can't it breathe was like oh, smoke man. inhalation they, they were, you just yeah, couldn't they, get away from it. You'd not just draw, like not just sitting there smoking. You'd pass the joint along, and the the just every breath you took in was just so harsh on the lungs. So for a good hour after, it hurt so much to breathe, breathe in. Oh. Yeah, it was a difficult time. I can't believe we got through. Like technically, a, a little bit of the joint fell out, but we got through all of it. Lockie's yeah. a hero, man. Lockie, fucking, He's I a couldn't weird believe hero. that. He. F- Smash like probably a third of that thing and yeah. saved our asses with that because yeah. I couldn't do any more. I was like wanting to get out of the car. Kyle, we called him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who was that? So we finished a few website videos last week and now we're prepping. We got a short week this week, so we're filming a podcast today. We're filming another one tomorrow, so there might not be as many. This, it might be a little bit shorter because usually we have a week to prepare for a podcast. This time we only have 24 hours because Michael's off on his honeymoon on Bali. Jimbo's going to fucking Singapore with Lukey. Oh, yeah. And it's our, we're having a little week off, like a week and a half off from, from filming. So um, I'm still going to be working. Yeah, I'll, I'll we'll be working till Friday this week as well. But, well and also, then we get a week off, but you won't. Sorry. Yeah, you won't have a week off. Shit, can you ask the concrete? That was nice. Thank you. Do you remember last night we went we went on a date to Julian's comedy show, didn't we, Matt? Yeah, we Tell had a three-way it. date with you, me, yeah. and Emil. Yeah, it was cute. How was it? Was it beautiful? We went to Frankie. Very good. We went to Frankie's first for dinner. That was yeah. Fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take you there. But eighty fucking dollars. Yeah, sorry, it was a some bit meat and a, a beer. It was a bit expensive. Come on. Yeah, so come on now. No, so, but Julian, man, like first comedy show, did a full hour. No, wow. like, no moments where you thought, oh, shit, oh, you know, nothing. Just, like, yeah. fucking nailed it. I think Very he's, talented I think he's, boy. I think he's something, he's found something that he was kind of made for, you know, mm, that stand-up. So I reckon he's going to do really well. By all accounts, it sounded like he did bloody well. So good on you, Julian. Yeah. And if yeah, well done, well man. done, man. Very good. Yeah, if he has any other future shows, he's because he's only going to get better and better. He's only been doing it for, like, five a year I know probably. and that's wild that's how do you wild. have an hour of jokes that'd be so hard to do yeah, and God, memorize try it, it. Yeah. try it now look see yeah. see how hard it is you yeah. know one thing I really like that he did you know how some comedians it's either like lots of long stories or lots of really short form jokes mm. I, I feel like Julian mixed that up pretty well yeah he did had a like bit long of both. bits long stories about like his parents and their sex tape fuck that's rough. <laughs> oh, imagine if yeah. they were there. Were they there? Yeah. They were there. No, they yeah. were not there. They yeah. were there. Julian's parents were there. Yeah, and they he was like there. describing the tape. It was Did pretty Did they know horrific. he was going to do that? No. He desc- I hope he doesn't mind, but he described his mum as a uh, a hot chook from Woolies. That's what she looked like. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> so God. And his dad was a stuffing. Oh. oh, free range. Yeah, hot right. chook. Oh, wow. What a good analogy. Yeah. Getting so stuffed with stuffing <laughs> but yeah his his confidence on stage to 
to speak was crazy just in front of so many people. Yeah. Because like, yeah, people go on and, and do it in front of small crowds and it, and they build it up over time. But, you know, yeah. Man, like the, you said. Yeah, the web well, doing the like piece for the website video when the activities day when he made us do stand up. Oh. It is so difficult to try and be funny. Like oh, yeah. when you're like on stage meant to be funny. Mm. Yeah. So it's been tricky. Look, it's been quite an eventful uh, week, this one. And we've been just, yeah, it always is leading up to right before we have a break. It's very intense. We try and get a lot of shit done in a short amount of time. So it's a bit stressful at the moment. But uh, and Oh, one more exciting thing fucked. too. We, we bloody hired a new man today. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Look, we've we've we had a lot of super awesome interviews with yeah. a lot of people, like high level. Yeah, high and, level. yeah, really good candidates. So we're excited. We've hired him, and you guys will obviously meet him, and and he'll be starting in two weeks, and then we'll be able to pump out even more content like we fucking used to, which is. And sick, and if you can hear a dull roar in the background, I was about to say I was really about to pick that up. <laughs> That's just because the neighbors are still demolishing their fucking house, and we don't have another time to film it because, as we mentioned, it, it's the all boys day. Are going on holidays, and it's it's all day that they do this. So this yeah. is the best time we got. They should I like stop it. Yeah, they'll through. be. They should be. It's nearly five. They should be done soon. Yeah, go home. Yeah. Your families. One of the highlights of Josh, our new employee, is that he plays worms. Yeah, he knows worms. <laughs> so this is important because obviously I'm number one in the office with worms. Ryan's number two. Where will he fit in? Oh, if, he, if a, he beats Ryan, it's going to ruin your relationship and with Ryan. And no, he needs to play you, Brown. He's yeah. a f***ing massive movie buff, he mentioned. He, yeah. he said he loves me. I lied about that. You lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, you're on your I have own something I still. need to run past you boys. And sorry if it's boring, but like <sighs> this is about Singapore. Yeah, oh, me okay. and Luke, um, we're we're wanting to play this golf course. It's five hundred US each to play. It's like number seventy in the world. Don't golf do course. it. You got to do it. But no, you need stupid. to have an official handicap. Neither of us have an official handicap. How do you so get I emailed that? you. Know, you play a bunch of rounds, and then you, you need you signed. Know, it has to be signed. It's like full on. Fucking so we didn't have that. So I wrote back and said, dumb. "We're quick. We're respectful. We can play." They wrote back and said, "Okay." You can book your green fee, which is 500 US. Then we're going to take you to the driving range. You have to hit a few balls in front of us and we'll make a judgment oh. if you're worthy of playing the course. Oh my God. If you're not worthy of playing the course, you go and you don't get your green fee back. That's oh insane, right? So I'm like, <laughs> so do I accept that offer and be like, yeah, I'm going to hit some straight drives or no. do I go and probably... And shank it and no, no they'll be looking at it. they'll be looking at your strike zone so they don't want you to f the grass up. Well, I reckon I can do that yeah. pretty well. So I you'll reckon, be fine. Yeah, I reckon you honestly you oh, fucking imagine if I fail. I'll mind hit, over matter. No, you can't think like that. Dude, you, you just fucking relax and you fucking champion <sighs> you goggins so it. And, you and then you report it and you back. do it. Just go you to another back. fucking golf course. No, because I want number seventy in the whole world. Give a fuck stupid golf. Listen to this match. Shit. Of this. Those guys. Golf is so this. much better it's than anything an you island. like. It's an island in the middle of like the water that overlooks all of the city of Singapore. It's fucking stunning. And look, yeah, look, man, in three cool. weeks you report back and you would have played it and it would have been the best golf course you've ever played. Oh, so will be. Uh, no to. doubt. I'm like, I that's hope, exciting. If it was just paying that money, I'd accept it. But to have to go there and hit your ball to fucking see if you're worthy, yeah. fuck you. Yeah, yeah, you we should we be understand. able to pay your money and go, I don't need to understand. Fuck that that's shit only because you would be denied yeah, exactly. that's why you're talking oh about yeah that. absolutely go to that course with absolutely. Matt and make a video but, <laughs> but just the just the oh See, you're to join our little it. club fuck uh, them yeah, what's your handicap it. oh you, man if I had ish? to say I reckon it would be like well I can't believe you haven't 18 done it. to 20 do you reckon mine would be under 36 oh yeah okay well in that case I'll be good because she said that we're be? just testing to see if it's under 36 oh then you're fine okay. what would mine be 36 Yours would probably be... I get about like 110 on a round of 18 on average. You'd probably have a handicap of like 26, I reckon. Oh, wow. What 30. about the brown? Maybe 30. That's not bad. 30 is not too bad. What about the brown? Brown, you, it doesn't matter. Like it, it Brown does, is handicapped. <laughs> brown is the definition of handicapped. <laughs> no, he'll be like, so, no, no, I am handicapped. It's infinity. Like you'd need infinity. <laughs> it could go for, oh no. Like it'd be like 100, 120, I reckon yours. Yeah, <clears> still <throat> stupid rules. But man, golf. Oh, Okay, fuck it. I'm doing it. You have to. Yeah, do. I reckon you should do it because it's a hell of a story. Yeah. If you oh, do, yeah. if you make it, 
Yeah. What if yeah. only one of you makes it? I got it. You put a bet I on. Be right. Whoever loses pays the other's green fee. Oh, that's good. High stakes yeah, I'm golf. Pitching that to Luke. That's, that's a lot awesome. of money. But still, yeah, it'd, it'd be, be like, oh, we'll what? make maybe just bet like a couple of hundred bucks. It'd be nearly two grand, wouldn't it? Well, five hundred USD is about for a little bit. It'd be about fourteen hundred Australian. Okay, so yeah, so, yeah. Oh well. No, nah, maybe you just do a couple hundred. I'm sorry, I went too no, far. No, I like it. Okay, I'm taking that. Sorry, Luke, Luke. will probably you better win too. Luke, and yeah. actually, we'll see who will be the better man, James or Luke, in Singapore. Luke kicked my ass last time we played. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Luke. When but he's I on, I played like shit, and he played really well. <clears throat> yeah, so we got a jam packed podcast. We got Tinder Adventures. We hang got on. Bamboozle. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. I'm, hang on. I'm just Matt letting everyone Wait, wait, wait. You're missing something. Donald Trump nearly got assassinated. Oh, yeah. yeah that dude. was wild. And you have not eh? said one thing. Yeah, well, I was just going to let everyone know and then continue the shit talk. But mm. we've got Bamboozled. We got The Great Debate is coming back. We got Prank Call sent in by one of you guys and a Plan B if that one doesn't work. We are going to open. Our one million subscriber plaque and one hundred thousand yes. subscriber plaque live in front of you guys. You know how hard it's been for us to get this shit. Most YouTube channels they reach these milestones. Oh, YouTube, here, here, have this. We have had to go through hell and back to get these Michael, f-ing Michael. trophies. Michael, Michael, right? are you opening it now? Dude, are you be careful, it right we don't now. break it. It's happening. Holy right, shit. Michael's doing it right now. Drum roll. This is the 100,000. Be careful one, you I don't believe. break it. Whoa, it's so beautiful, dude. Snap it over your knee. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> oh, it's going to, dude. Look Can at I, that. Wow. Can we snap it right no, now? No. Can we please no, snap please. it, dude? Look don't. at that. Look at that. It's got Vote a up th- if you think we should snap it. All right, look. No. In the- <laughs> <laughs> Marty sort of got his hand <laughs> In the Would- comments, look, we'll leave it up to the fans. Oh, it's kind of like a mirror too, Luke. Oh, I think it should be sporadic. I want it dead. I want it broken. No, nah, don't do that. Oh, I guess you got the That's crazy. Wow. It's that or the million. You guys have to choose. I have to get my way with one. No, we. I reckon we do something a bit more creative than just snapping it over our yeah, fucking legs. Why don't we just use it to break on, on each other? Do you want this? Uh, Come on, Michael. This was him when he was a little girl at Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> This is him opening up a so Barbie This doll. is all our hard, uh, all the, the hundreds and hundreds of videos we've made on YouTube. YouTube's the slowest grind for us, the slowest growing platform. Oh. We've hit a mill, and this is what you get, all right? This is real gold. It's probably worth about, what, 200 grand? Because it's actual gold. Oh, hang on. You get a little note with it, too. Do you, want, do you guys want to know what it says on the Go note? On. It says, You did it. One mission, one wow. channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. Congratulations. You may have started with just a few viewers, but your voice, passion, and creativity have now touched the lives of people around the world. And the community that you've built is enriched by the stories that you have shared and bring people together. Okay. To honor this milestone, we're proud to present you with the Gold Creator Award. We hope that this special recognition will remind you how much you mean to so many. Every day you are redefining how content is created and watched, and you are the best at what you do. You are the best, the best, the best. It's a privilege wow. to be a part of your they journey. Personalized and it. we can't wait to see what you do next. No way. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm annoyed. There's a dent on it. I am worthy. Look Probably in, from the, him. in the mirror bit, there's a little dent. I swear I saw a little dent. Like, see where the little arrow, the, the triangle's pointing, like towards you, just in front of that. Can you see it? I can oh, see that it. That looks damaged too. Look at, it's crazy that like oh, anyway. remember when we first started yep, making videos that. in 2014 we're like wow look people like get these cool some little plaques and shit now we finally f- have some of our own isn't that exciting and you guys got to be here while we open that wild next milestone is a hunt is one of these for the podcast channel hell yeah we're yeah. on f- 40k and i reckon well let's do a giveaway Let's do it when we get back from our holiday. Let's do a fucking cash giveaway and see if we can pump this shit up and get another one of these fucking things. So Matt has something to look at. Yeah. Imagine if we went from one mil to three mil tonight. Can you get three mil plaques? No. Nah, ten. Ten's the next one. Ten. Shit. What about a twenty? I don't know. 
No, 100 is the next one. And then 200 and then 300, which Mr. Beast just got 300. Wild shit, eh? Did but you watch it, his video recently with all the YouTubers? I haven't watched it yet. Is it good? Yeah, it's all right. I, got, I didn't get the whole way through it. It got a bit boring at the end. Was Logan Paul really cool? He was actually it? relatively likable in it for once. Oh, okay, yeah. that's nice. Was KSI there? <laughs> yeah, KSI's funny, man. I don't mind oh, wow, look, we got another one. So is that Kai Sanat dude or whatever his name yeah, is? Yeah, don't read that one, dude. Oh, it's just the same shit. <laughs> but yeah, right. thank you, YouTube, thank for you, finally everybody. giving us the thing that we have earned. And thank, thank you. you to our fans and yeah, friends. Of course. Thank you, you guys, for pressing the subscribe button, which reminds me, please, please press the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. It is vital that we keep growing this, okay? We've been going through some ups and downs, man. It's a fucking roller coaster. the podcast views and engagement, and we rely on you guys to keep it going. Otherwise, we sit around getting all, like, what are we doing wrong? And Matt starts to panic and calling me. Oh, oh did you see that someone said a bad thing on the, on the, on the, in the comments? And now he starts not, carrying scissors around. Yeah. It gets kind of dark. I that? just care. Gold anyway, we'll ha we should hang them up for when we move, Michael, change headquarters, because it would be nice to have something nice up and not have. You guys can't broken. have anything nice. Yeah, dude, that Example. goes in the office. Dude, we've That's still got our, our original 1970s black. You know what Sabbath we should poster. put them? We should put them in the toilet of the office. Yes. Imagine just sitting in there having the a toilet. shit and just being like, yeah, I am the shit. You're shitting I on it. I am Let's the shit. Let's put it in and so you shit on it. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we should get every single, <laughs> all million subscribers' names tattooed on our bodies. Okay. Uh, yep. Matt? Uh, yes to the tattoo, no to putting it in the toilet. I reckon you should display it. It'd be it's sick a talking in the toilet. toilet. Once we move headquarters. And point. look, that's another thing that we haven't spoken about, about much. We are moving headquarters by the beginning of 2025 we'll be in an even f we're going to be in a really fucking good spot all right and 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 it's taken we're meant to be there right now you guys don't know this but we're meant to be in our new headquarters right now but everything's construction's taking a long time i'm not going to reveal everything but we've made some headway and we've been saving for a very long time and it's all because of you guys especially the website subscribers you guys have been able to make sure that in starting next year our content will go up a very very significant level and we're going to be able to do some really cool shit and we're not going to be fucking renting anymore and we're going to have a studio and a set and a huge place to film and it, our content will go from being the best to godlike yeah well which is the true best and we've already got so many amazing video ideas that we have that we can't do here because we're rentals, mm. but we will do them next year. So there's some exciting ship shit happening. Let's hope I don't need surgery on my fucking little fuck with foot. You and Jackson might be twins. Yeah, yeah. Jackson potentially needs man, surgery. I can't believe foot. the amount of injuries that guy's had. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He's had more injuries than probably anyone, any non-athlete person that I know. He gets drunk and wrestles UFC fighters though. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that true. Is, man, I would never do that. That would yeah, freak no, no, me no. out. And you know what else I wouldn't do? I wouldn't be Trump and get shot at either. Yeah, that he should have just ducked faster. Yeah. He did pretty good though to like just nick the ear. That's pretty, it was fun. pretty cool. And then how fuck pretty ballsy to go and go. That photo was sick. Imagine if, as, but how bad could that have gone if, as he gets having a oh! just gets slotted oh! through the head? That would have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd regret celebrating early. Yeah, right. you yeah, would yeah, yeah. He's literally centimeters away from fucking death, uh, man. Oh, Girl. look, mm. that would have changed. Crazy, wild, crazy times. What the hell is going on? This is like what happens in like you know. Movies. Well, this oh, is man. one big movie. Sorry. <laughs> it's fucking wild times. But anyway, guys, that's our shit talk. It's three days before these two go on holidays and then f four days before I'm on holidays for a week and I can't and wait to lie down. Me, yeah, Matt, Matt just has to grind it out. For Christmas. <laughs> Picture Sorry, this, Marty. You got a couple of weeks at Christmas. You've just oh, I'm gone away in November. <laughs> You've just got your new script, Marty, and then you just sit down all holidays, relaxing on Endone. Yeah, no. Oh. I want to. I want to. I want to get so off everything and just be, get just as healthy as I fucking can. And the mm -hmm. brief period where I was off, absolutely, I found out that we, yeah, was probably affecting my heart shit a bit as well because everything was just on the improve. But now I, the doctor tells me I have to take Endone, so of course I have to take Endone. So you won't be watching like YouTube speed runs of video games. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try not. You're I'm gonna still be gonna, Matt Brown. I'm still gonna work out every day. I don't know how, but I'm still gonna work out every. You're 
fucking of shit. day. Bench press, shoulder press, dips, heaps of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just annoying walking around in, in the gym with crutches. Yeah, but how cool is that? If you if there was a guy in my gym with crutches, I'd be like, you're mad. Imagine me on the treadmill on crutches. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. I'd watch that. Yeah. At least your balls won't have hair on them. Because um, there's this product that we've been using, eh? Yeah, look, if you guys don't have this already, then you're behind on the times. And you're kind of like a bit of a piece of shit because you're not really looking after yourself. And if you want a girl to s your balls, touch you, well, guess what? They don't want a mouth full of huge, long, wiry pubes stuck in between their teeth as they s your balls. If I had my balls, I reckon they could stretch mm. 30 centimeters before they get fucked back and reel back into my groin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you could get a good 10, 15. I reckon. Try yeah. it. We should try it for a <laughs> website it's a, it's a video. Website. Would you let me tug? No, no. With your mouth, you put my balls oh, in your mouth and pull oh, back. Most I'd go is grab it with my hand and then snap it back yeah, into you. Yeah, that's the day I quit. <laughs> you start sucking Marty's balls, I'm out. Oh, get a close-up. Get a close-up. I'd do it. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> Oh, man, we've been coming up because we, we can post for short form content now. So we've been filming some fun shit too. I like filming just the short little minute pain videos. And um, it's it's been it's the content's been fun making content again. It's been good. And the reason why it's been good is because our balls have been shaved. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I basically, we're talking about that. When you were going to the point like, look, if you might, you might not get any like physical touch. And the reason is because you haven't shaved. It's so much better to teach to have your chair. What? Yeah. Well, think You're about right. it. Would you rather suck off a dude with hair all the way up his shaft and even some pubes underneath his foreskin? Or would you prefer to suck off a hard, smooth, stone cock with no pubes on it? I know what I would prefer. And just you got to put yourself in the hooker's mind because whatever they want is what you get cut. And not only that, your confidence will shoot through the fucking roof and you'll be able to go out there and get the job that you've always wanted and you could be at the top of the wholesome tree and you could be the puppeteer <laughs> of all the little truck drivers and just like Matt is with his smooth cotton balls telling everyone what to do and firing them if they're hairy. Could I add a third option to the cotton ball scenario? So like what about if one of the dicks had dangleberries? Yeah, it happens, man. Dangleberries is like dreadlocks in pube form and you need to get rid of that as soon as possible. Do you understand? So go to manscaped.com, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. There, boom, done, 20% off. Oh, inflation's about 20%. No, it's not. 20% off. It's back to normal. F*** you. Go and get some Manscaped shit. Look after yourself. Be better and get better and live the best life you can possibly be and stop lying around sweating and leaving your pube trails everywhere. If you break the law, cops can find you because all they got to do is follow a trail of pubic hair to the bitch you've raped and killed. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I need to write down to cut that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, write that down. <laughs> Father's Day's coming up too. Yeah, you want to get your dad clean and sucked? You don't want your dad to get sucked <laughs> off yeah, or look, not? It's also for women, so yeah. yeah you want Mother's your... Day's coming up. Yeah. Well, for women too. <laughs> women can buy them, right? And, and give them to, to people. They can shave the c*** that they want to suck and they can also shave their tits because let's be, let's be real there. There are some Italian ladies out there with <laughs> thick <laughs> black chest hair and it's not right. I didn't know about com. I didn't know about chest hair on women. Is that a real thing? I, I, well, the ones I've been with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go, Manscaped. Anyway, and, off. of course, our subscription website, which funds our entire lives. And starting next year, I can't wait to show you the fruits of our labor because of all of our beautiful website subscribers. And where uh, the website is also um, undergoing some new upgrades. So the premium member section, the premium members get a new, uh, like a diary entry basically from me and Michael every week. So all of that will be on the website. There's going to be all sorts of little cute little things added to it. It's exciting times. Okay? Oh, you know what's coming out now too though? By the time this comes out, 
Amazon product reviews part uh, two. Everyone, it was one of the Amazon members' favorite videos. We got part two of that coming out. <laughs> Michael is disgusting. Oh, I man. had to go through the slow mos <laughs> and Ryan's angles today. Yeah, it's hard to see. But he had to blur and like, yeah. look, there is. I, he just sort of he did like. <laughs> there's not much blurring that goes on. You there. should probably Imagine. say sorry. Can you imagine mm. being Ryan and having to just like sit and watch that over and over and yeah. over again? Oh, yeah. And then respect you afterwards because you're his boss. That's, well, that's difficult. Yeah, look, it was rough to, for me to watch. Like I was really rocked yeah, dude, by it. I, I remember really zooming in on it and it looked like it didn't look like an asshole. <laughs> it was like prolapse. It was like a hemorrhoid hanging out. Don't, the side. don't give away too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You true, need to true, watch true, these, yeah. both of them. The first Amazon video is incredible. This one's even better, I reckon. And what do we got coming out this weekend? We got oh, sinister, sinister snakes, snakes and ladders. Yeah, they got a weird. Is, they, got, they all get weird, don't they? Yeah. And keep your eyes out on our Instagram too, because we've been posting some fucking banger little short clips there too. And I'm fucking cheering. I'm fucking up on my feet. <laughs> We're still at 3.2K five-star reviews on Spotify. So if we could get to 3.3K, Matt will do something. What will you do, Matt? What was, wasn't there an agreement for 4K? Oh, you were going to grow your hair. Yeah, we didn't agree on that. But yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure if for we go money, back to the podcast. I've never agreed on For five, five grand. For yeah, five you grand. said grand. that and five grand. Dude, I, that, that's so worth no, it. Five, it think five of grand. the laughs. Five but I didn't grand. actually shake on it. We had to discuss with you Jenna. You just look like this, but a little bit less on the top. We, we had to discuss with um <laughs> my girlfriend before we did that. What'd yeah, she say? And she said five grand, right? I think she was okay with it, but we'd have to really <laughs> lock it in. Just wear know? beanies and hats and shit like I do. No one knows how shit my hair is because I wear hats all the time. There you go, way around it. I'm waiting for you guys to get even more massive so I can just get a hair transplant for free. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. And you and me together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll go on a trip. <laughs> I feel like after this 100 day challenge, too, we're going to be pretty fucking, we're going to look pretty damn good, man. Oh, I just yeah. had an idea. What? We become werewolves and we get hair werewolves. transplants. On our hands. Dude, me and Marty had a similar yeah. idea already. Dude. Hair I'd transplant hair in the middle of your back. A mohawk down your spine. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Handy hair oh, transplant. Dude, that would be so annoying. You can do that one. Yeah, the hand's too gross because, like, you can't walk around in public. Like, the people think. I would love it. A you mohawk would. down the back. Yourself. A mohawk down the back. Yeah. That's hot. That would be sick. You wow. could run around like a lizard on all fours. <laughs> I'd touch you guys all the time. Like I just have the hand come out with like the imagine phone behind eating it. eating <laughs> food. And touch your face with hair all over. Oh, it. Imagine eating yeah. though, you'd have hair in your mouth all the time. Be food we'll do in it your to hair. one hand each. You finger your ass heaps. You'd have hair left over in your yeah, ass. Yeah, you'd have to clean oh, it a lot. Imagine jerking off with hair on your hand. You'd, you'd have like, to shampoo your hand. Be like getting off by a silverback gorilla. Okay. That'd be good. <laughs> but there's something there. We have to do yeah. that. Yeah. Remember, uh, ages ago we yeah, also spoke about. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get um, a, a, f a breast <laughs> oh, implant on my on back. back. Would you get a middle breast implant? Not like anymore. Not, Not any anymore. But Steve-O is f getting a boob job. Did you hear about this? Wow. that's If he commits to that, that is like next yeah, level. Yeah, that is hectic. Yeah. I don't even <sighs> – see, that's shocking as fuck. And that's like – that's right up our alley. Mm. Well, look. I would love to see you with a breast on the center of your back. <laughs> so would I. But yeah, like for how long? A really nice spine. one. That'd be great. I just would worry like one, how how I would live. Like uh, can I lie on <laughs> my back? on your back. Can I lie on my <laughs> back? You look so like, weird in shirts, Yeah, dude. shirts would be real tight at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would think I'd have like some weird like cyst on my yeah, back oh, when yeah. I'm wearing a shirt. You'd be a weird and hunchback. Not to mention that Mon would probably be like not attracted to me for that entire period. <laughs> yeah, or maybe she'd be, be more, more attracted, attracted potentially. Yeah. Every time she gives you a hug, she can have a little... But yeah. then you wouldn't be able to do anything. It doesn't take like three weeks, four weeks to heal. So yeah. you wouldn't be able to do it. And then mm. removing it would be the same thing. And then what do we use for the nipple? I mean, we could use skin from my asshole rim. We'll tattoo it on. Have Michael's nipple. Just and have we'll, no nipple. Just have a mound. And we'll have like a little sack in there and we can fill it up with milk. And then oh. I can, if we have a baby, I could breastfeed too. We can share <laughs> breastfeeding duties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look, there's options. There's yeah. options. But anyway, guys, episode 25, go to Manscaped, have a look at the website, 21 day free trial. There's some hectic shit coming on the website and fuck you, man. Oh yeah. All right, let's have a fuck. 
fucking fat bong break. Yeah. I'm going to go pop another endone. Whoa, whoa. And then we're going to f- sit down and, and, and we're going to do a great debate. Could we do bamboozled first? Because i got to go. Yes. Yes, Sick. we can. Bong break and we'll be right back with bamboozled and then the great debate. You've yeah. been bamboozled. You've been bamboozled, baby. No. No, not me. No, not again. Is this Please. Eminem's new album? Yeah. Oh, I'm so confused. I can't see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! Yeah, 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 check it. I say you've been bamboozled, bitch! Not me, not me, not me. Oh, it's too good. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Connor, if you have the time to just zoom in on each person's face while we're... You know, going up and down to that, that'd be a beautiful little little thing. You can cut that part, sorry. <laughs> no, can't. Oh yeah, bamboozled. You There's no tape to play. That. But this was a this was another fan's idea. It's a it's a really, really simple bamboozle this week. <laughs> All three of you stick your arms through that little black hole there, pour it through, and then one of you, you're gonna close your eyes, one of you is going to get struck by me as hard as I can with this, the the hand of death, and then you all look at each other in the eye and you try and show no pain. Hey, have you been hit by this? Have you been hit by that before? I have gently, and it's not for have you gently. Oh, have you no. been hit like, by honestly, that? Honestly, this, this kills. Not full pelt. Yeah, you, you wait. The, I want to show, man. Even that, I've, just I've do seen that to it. Man. I've seen it. Oh, feel this. I've been this hit. is how hard I did it. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, it's crazy. He's going to go as hard as he can. Yeah. It's going to be hand. funny. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know if your hard as your can is going to be good for me. That's it's not, right. like it's you probably had, not good for anyone. Like, yeah, none of us. You've got power. That's... You've been bamboozled, baby. Oh, oh this is bad. But why do you get to choose? I don't. I don't get to choose who did oh. it, who gets it. I'm going to think work? of either the number one, two, or three, and I promise you I'll be honest. I'm going to hey, whisper um, it. Why don't you whisper it into... I've got an idea. Yeah, yeah okay. right. I'll, I'll mouth we'll write it, it to them. Down. Yeah, I'll oh, yeah. mouth it to yeah, them. Okay, you yeah. ready? Or I'll show them. I'll show them. Matt's looking. Matt's looking. I can't see him anyway. No idea. Okay. Here uh, we who go. lost last week? Me, Matt, wasn't it? It wasn't last week. It was like before. Yeah, it Matt was, lost. He got the... I got the fucking stingy, stingy metal. metal. So is it between one and ten or what? No, no, no. It's either one, one two, one, or three. three. Okay. So Matt gets to choose first. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard, isn't it? It's not that hard. It's just one, two, or three. Hmm. One. Ha! Fool. Marty? <laughs> I'm going to say two. <laughs> Fool. Michael? I'll go number one. Interesting. <laughs> you already said one. <laughs> we should all say one. <laughs> I'll go whatever hasn't been said. So one, two, two three. three. There we go. All right. Shit, I'm scared. Stick your arms through the hole. Where are you going to hit? The black hole of destiny. You hit um, hand? I'm going to aim for like four arms. If oh. you can stick it through. Oh, Marty's going to struggle. I don't this. think hand is a good idea. I think it'll that'll actually do some damage. This is so I bad. might have to just get on my knees for this. Can you get on your knees? Yeah, as long as I don't put weight on my yeah. foot. Now, I'm going to get you all to close your eyes. Oh. And then as soon as you hear the slap, you look at each other. Can I go like that? Yeah, that, that works. This is so scary. You don't dude. reckon you stand up? I'm scared my aim is going to miss. Okay. Good. Yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think I can hit you guys. Actually, you know what? We don't even need the box. You got your arms. Sorry, you got yeah. your fucking eyes closed. Sorry, yeah. Just <laughs> stand Jump next up, to Marty. each other. Yeah, or just sit next to each other, you know? And I can just, I just can hit. just strike the person. Yeah. I don't care yeah. about who cares who cheats. See, that's what I mean. You can't like, cheat. Once you get the hit, it... <laughs> oh! dude, you dude, you cannot hit that hard. That is going to be so fucking painful. Here Why are you go. guys going that way? Is that better? Just trust us. Do you reckon yeah. that way? Yeah, oh, yeah. this is bad. So here, right, if it's your me, eyes closed, if it's I'm, me here, I can just even cover your eyes because you'll be too tempted to. Look. Oh my god, cover your eyes. I'm so please. nervous. Go to a different place. Right. Think about the. Grass. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, okay? Because you, oh! you can't. Oh my know. gosh. I'm gonna be walking around. This oh is fucking around. torture. Oh my gosh. Three. Oh, oh my gosh, it's me. Two. Ah! It's me. One. Eyes open. Wow. 
point to the person who got hit in three, two, one. <laughs> right. Dude, I hit you fucking. Dude, I skinned your arm. I had to eat that pain. Oh, that was Skins good, man. Did you not make a sound? Dude. I wouldn't be able to hold it. To take a hit from the hand of death like that is next level. Dude, Sorry. Did you swing hard? Oh, yes. dude, you wait till you look see at the, the mark. footage. Look at the mark. I've it's swung come up. Oh, that, yeah. eh? Look at that. It looks oh, man. Purple oh, already. Oh, my God. He's got a hand shaped bruise. Go yeah. show the camera. I'm so glad that Sorry. wasn't me. One of them. Why don't you tell him to go show the camera? You gotta go. Come on, Here I am. That's what they want to see. That's so good with that yeah. outfit. It's like an aggressive get your Kazakhstani it. grandmother. <laughs> Shut up. Just do it. Sorry. Dude, it's like a full bruise. Man, that was a good hit. That is a oh, fucking is solid hand on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, don't. Oh, God. I deserve it. Just a little one. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. It looks better. Oh, look at no, There's more room for your ball to sit. Ooh, oh, the hand of death, eh? Well, that was scary. I was terrified. Bamboozle, so baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f an elk, eh? Boys, <laughs> I've lost. been thinking about the bamboozled for the grand finale, the oh, live yeah. show, and I've got some sick shit planned. Oh, no. Sick shit planned. Um, do you reckon we can create something that the whole like audience can see, like something quite oh, yeah. extravagant? Oh, yeah. That, got some ideas. Yeah, okay. By the way, guys, just touching on the live uh, venue, we've oh, yeah. been looking at the Gold Coast. Um uh, it was decided that we we're going to try on the Gold Coast. All the venues of the Gold Coast, they're like conference halls. There's no really th theatres there. So we're kind of thinking maybe we do it in Brisbane again this year. And I know, and I'm really sorry, there's people, we know we have people in Sydney and Melbourne that we just haven't gotten around to and then we just kind of always hang around in Brisbane. But I feel like we committed to the Gold Coast. It's kind of shit now. And now we're like, fuck. Will we have time to move it to Sydney? Maybe we should just at least look into it to Sydney. Yeah, we'll look into the Gold Coast some more too, but in, to explain a bit more, literally all of the places, they're conference rooms, so it's just there's no tiered seating. So if you're up the back, you're just going to be it's looking at the flat. back of – and the, our stage is not very tall, so you're just going to look at the back of people's heads. And it's, yeah, it's just want, this big yeah. flat area. It's the like, best crowds come to the live show, and we want you guys to have the best experience. It's not going to be the best if we go there. Yeah, it'll be like tables yeah. and shit. I don't know. It'll be weird. But yeah. anyway, um, we'll keep you guys posted on that, all right, because we'll probably have to start – advertising that soon yeah. well yeah well, episode, episode 25. 25 yeah we've yeah. only got 15 weeks left before the live show mm -hmm. like, that's yeah. so quick it's gonna be sick yeah man times are f flying boys up. Hit it. the oh, great yeah. debate between ladies this is the great debate hate bank hate late yeah let's skate I need to find some more of these pants and so just so <laughs> you know nice. everyone okay this debate, and we've seen some negative comments about this segment, all right? This segment is not real, okay? This is a, all a joke. These aren't real but opinions. we make it real. Okay, they aren't real opinions. Whatever the boys say, they don't actually think. I know some of these topics are very sensitive. That's the whole point, okay, is to put Michael and Matt in a scenario where they must use their verbal communication and intelligence to win this debate on a controversial topic. So please, if it's something, if you're sensitive about it, skip along, all right? We don't want to, we see the, the comments like, oh, you can't joke about this. Yes, we can, and we're about to. So if, you don't, <laughs> so, so if you don't like it, please skip ahead, okay? There is something that offends some. We're not, we're not trying to upset someone. We're not sitting here going, oh, let's offend this minority this week. No, we're not doing that. We're just having Matt and Michael have a debate about a controversial yeah. topic. That's all it is. And now Matt's all self-conscious because his <laughs> disco pants have been torn. Well, just sit down until you're back. They can't see your back. I ripped his pants open. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so nice now. It would be so anything. good if you... Show Ryan your bruise. You can't have anything nice here because somebody will just f***ing break him. I wish you didn't, weren't wearing Show undies. Ryan your bruise. Look, it's swallen now. Oh, my oh, shit. Matt's got a weird bruising colour. Yeah, it's very purple. Oh yeah, it's like, hand of it's death. Like, 
It's like brown. Yeah, perp. brown. Yeah. Brown goes brown when he gets hit. It's weird. <laughs> All right. So who, probably, what's the fucking damage this week? What are we going to debate? Um, Matt and Michael, close your eyes. Okay. James. The, I'm watching. James, the pro argument is this, the number. Yep. And the other number is for con. Gotcha. Okay, against the argument. All right. So Michael or Matt, you choose the number two or one. What do you want, Matt? You choose one. I'll be one. All right. Both of them one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's so dumb. That's the second so time dumb. Michael's done that. No, I'll be W O N one. <laughs> and I'll be O N E. All right. So, so which one is it? Which Who's going what? I'll be one. He'll be two. Okay. What the? Didn't Matt choose one? Yeah, I did. I stole it. He was brave. <laughs> well, do you want a paper, scissors, rock for it? It doesn't bother me. Just, oh, well, scissors, paper, rock for you, it. Because you're one. Because now there's confusion. Shit. I don't Just give scissors, a shit. paper, rock. Whoever wins chooses. Yeah, go Scissors, on. paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, oh, paper, rock. Ages. I want wins. I want three. One or two? <sighs> one. Then yeah. you have somewhere to be. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Bro, okay, so you're one, okay? I'm one. Okay, one is con. Yep. Why are I'm you guys watching all of a sudden? Two is okay. pro. Okay, so two means you are for this argument okay, again. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Nah, you're up first. All right, today's Nothing topic is you should be allowed to have sex with animals. Okay, this is easy. <laughs> you sex with animals should be legal. Okay. Matt, mm. you are for the argument, therefore you must start. On that topic, I've got to go, which sucks. <laughs> but good luck, Matt. You got this. <laughs> Fucking oath he's got arm. this. Browns he's, never he's forget. He yeah, speaks passionately about, about this every day, so he should, he should have this. Why should it be legal to have sex with animals? And I'll tell you why. There's just an overwhelming amount of, 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 of star, uh, the f- facts. Oh, okay. Yeah. And time. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so many like examples of of man and beast falling in love, which leads to oh, sex. I can't really think of any. Yes, we can that octopus my friend. Clearly he f- that octopus, right? Yeah, so that's, that's clearly clear. love right it's there. A more of a pet family. You kind went of through love. a large amount of, of cows in your time. Mm. And you can't tell me that wasn't a good time and you enjoyed that sex, right? Now let's. I can see some negatives. I can see some negative STDs seems to come from animals, and but also because it's maybe not consensual because the animals can't really consent. Yeah, to but yeah, con- there's no consensual stuff. So like, you don't mind about the non-consent? No, nah, yeah, there's you no don't cons- care about consent at all. There's no consent in animals. animals. You see other animals; they all just bang each other. There's no consent. But the same they're not, species. They're not humans. They're not. They're not human beings. There's consent with human beings. There's no consent between animals, which means when a human goes for an animal, there's no consent. So you're saying that humans should be able to have sex with animals because... Absolutely. Because they're, because it's generally there is a love between man and animals and love leads to sex. And so I reckon it should be legal because they should be able to express their love Time. in any way. All right. So you're saying you should be able to have sex with animals because you... There's it's love an, and it's... it's, it's an animal is an expression, expression of, of love. love. All right, Michael, you're a bottle. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Firstly, humans are to have sex with humans because they're the same species. Really? Secondly, animals, you could get very various diseases, especially bats that would probably kill you. Look, now the only, I will meet you halfway and the only two occasions it's okay to have sex with animals is if, they're you, dead. <laughs> your your animals in the room when you're having sex. That's not with the animal though. If yeah. they join in, it's okay. Like it's it's all right, sort of. So if it's consensual, you're only if you're with your partner as well. If it's like a three way thing, or if, say, I reckon it would be cool to see someone jerk off with like ants all over their hand. <laughs> Look, I'll give you that. That would be very cool to see, <laughs> like fire ants. But you kind of, you kind of. I would watch that if someone kinda, did that. You're kind of contributing to Matt's that. argument there. <laughs> but got okay, okay but most of the time, most of the time, it's like I reckon don't do it. <laughs> yeah, what about like? Couldn't it like hurt the yeah. animal if you're having sex with a cat? Is and there a any huge good adult 
goes Actually, to, I have seen a video a of a, a, a dude f***ing a chicken. And oh, I was, yeah, like, I think I've seen the same thing. That seemed like the chicken was cool with it, so that's probably all right There's as no well. There's no way the chicken was The chicken cool wasn't making a sound. It was like having a fucking log shoved up your ass. He was fine, and then he just went on his way. So I reckon the chickens, seriously, it's okay with chickens. Time. Okay. Okay, so, so you're basically uh, agreeing with Matt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're I'm a, ahead. Your rebuttal, Only on a few things. I'm ahead here. Your rebuttal is it's okay in some animals to have sex. But most of the time you keep it human to human species. All right, look at it. You don't need much of a rebuttal here. Oh, but I've got one. All right, three, two, one, go. So to add to my to my argument, um, there are people out there who just can't get – there's that – you know, there's like an itch and you just really want to scratch it and you can't scratch it. It's like in your shoe and you've got to take your shoe off to get it scratched. you really got to get to it. There is a pleasure itch in some humans that cannot be scratched by other humans. And I'm talking these are a special kind of people and they need something more. Something, you know, maybe it's a different hole or a different, you know, um, a so different, you're saying a different that, that penis. So what I'm saying is there are, there are women and men out there who, who need the, you know, the, the horse to get them pleasured when a human just doesn't, doesn't so you're do saying it for them. That, that you should, you should act on whatever your fantasies are. Have you seen is that a what you're dog? Saying? Yes. All right. Absolutely. Well, what about so have you seen then? a dog? Falls. Stop. We're not doing it. That's not the debate. Well, that's Keep the same it. logic. I, I agree. And with that. time. <laughs> you just took half of my time. Just pointing out a flaw in your logic. He's the mediator. You're meant to be the mediator. You're not meant to point out my look, flaws. Look, it's pretty one sided so far, okay? Right. Also, animal tongues licking, dog licking tongues. Tell me that's not going to be good. It's going to be pretty pleasurable. Oh, well, let's find out. That's a pretty good point. Three, two, one, go, Michael. Okay, look, you were talking about people that needed to scratch a certain itch. Mm. I have a solution for those people. Instead of f***ing, you wanted new holes, with the person that you have a wound into them, f*** that hole because it's a new wound and then it's like f***ing animals. Sort Wouldn't of, that really hurt the person though? Only d as deep as they'll allow. But then it, or you're really hurting the animal, so it's kind of the same Only, thing. No, this has to be humans. Yeah, I know, but it's, so, but it's kind of the same thing. So... You might as well do that and not. You don't hurt them. They have to be okay with you doing it. Yeah, I can see that. So you'd be okay with carving a hole into amber. If she was cool with it. What are you, very rarely would you I wouldn't think need that? a deep hole. I just need a little hole. I, I can see this. I would enjoy being out on town and meeting a random and cutting a hole in them. It'd be different. There'd be something new. So that's the solution to the itch. Thank you. Okay, look. As always, I think you guys should decide who won that debate. But at, at the end of the day, I, I don't think that anyone should uh, take what we say seriously and start having sex with animals or, or carving holes into your partners to f If they're cool with it, you could. Maybe. It's consensual. Like It's like self-scarring shit. I don't know. I reckon it would work out. Look, let us know in the comments who you think won that debate. And also, like, like help us out. Comment some comment some some debates that you want to hear here, guys. Some controversial shit. All right, yeah, the boys Ford versus Holden, maybe the boys love controversial shit. So however controversial you can think of, you know, let us know in the comments, and we'll have a bit of a read. The comments section runs a bit dry lately sometimes, and I kind of look at it and go, F maybe we're just f pieces of shit, man. No, dude, they're still watching. So true. But I reckon a good topic would be like, what's better, One Tree Hill or the OC? Yes. One yeah. Tree Hill or the OC? I, I, would, I would have to sit out on Oh, that. fuck me. I'm ready. Okay. Because. Okay. We'll look, do that now. What about, time. hang on. Sorry. On, please. It's tough. Please. Let's anyway. Not, let's not go down Sorry. TV shows and movie paths, yeah. all right? Sorry. Yeah, no, that was and it's not fault. because I don't like them. It's just because it's. We're running out of time. It's It's too much. It's too Look, much. Today it, it but is. Tomorrow we'll we'll get back into it. Hit it for one of my new favorite jingles and one of my favorite segments. Sad and lonely women on an app. Tinder's there for our laughs. Maybe sex if we're stacked. Only cows can be cows. Oh man, I don't know if that hits like it hits for you, for me. How no, it, it is for you. nice. It is. Look. All right, so I've been doing the Tinder, uh, Tinder conversations, and I'm gonna hit you guys with some st stats. Okay, it's uh, it's a little bit harder than it usually is. Okay, I might send out 
maybe 20 messages to matches that I get and maybe five will reply. I'll try to continue a conversation with them and then maybe one will continue the conversation. I don't know what's going on at the moment, but the conversations are kind of ending very quickly. So um, I'm doing my best here, okay, and and I feel a lot of pressure to make these as good as possible, but I'm finding it difficult to find women to engage in conversation with. So please don't be too harsh on me. I, I will do my best, okay? But there are some shorter conversations this week, all right? I'm just going to preface with that. Some of the short ones are my most favorite. Okay, well, here's a really short one. <clears throat> I miss my ex unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to hear uh, that. That's not a good opening. Hi, Luke. Grip strength, 10 out of 10. <laughs> want to let me hack it, yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> hi. And then she just says, hi, Luke, again. Yeah, I said hi. Why do you keep saying that? Hi, Luke. <laughs> I'm clenching my fists so hard my knuckles are breaking. You wouldn't believe the week I've had. I'm tensing my jaw so hard that some of my teeth have cracked. Oh my god, why? What happened? I got fucking fired on Friday. I was It was so unfair. Got into an argument with a supervisor over the most minor shit. It's so fucked. I'm like grabbing my ears and pulling them down as hard as I can and I can't get rid of this fucking anger. And again, no reply. That's an ongoing conversation, but I will have to continue that because they're just... I don't know what's going on, okay? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. You sound a bit intense. Yeah. Do you not remember some of the conversations from yeah, yours? Yeah, I know, but maybe you just you need to just, you know, a few hays and highs and how are you going? Okay, well, this one's not so intense. So it starts with, smile more. You have to show your teeth. I'm not playing games. Oh. Hi, how are you? I'm engraving a skull into my best friend's car. <laughs> He's going to freak. When's the last time you got into a fight like a fucking full-on punch-up? <clears throat> no way. How's the one you engrave? Yeah, it turned out heaps good. My mate got so angry and is trying to make me pay for it. So funny. I'm really manipulative and pretty violent. What's your flaws? <laughs> oh, no. And then no reply. And then, what's your flaws, I said. And then unmatched. <laughs> oh, I think you need to relax and not be so demanding <laughs> with your questions. They don't want to be involved with someone like that. Yeah, well, that's bullshit, I reckon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Put up with a toxic partner. All right. So she starts a conversation with, <clears throat> Hey there, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm so childish. I'm actually kind of ashamed of myself. You're probably going to ask me what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I did yesterday. I just want to tell someone because I can't tell anyone I know. Oh, I'm so fucking childish. Please just tell me what your perspective is and how bad you think it is, and then we can unmatch if you want. I just need to chat about this. <laughs> Yesterday I was at a house party and my ma <clears throat> and my mate and I got absolutely fucking smashed, like fucking blind, in and out of consciousness, drunk. I was passed out on the couch and woke up and saw my mate rooting this chick. I thought it would be funny if I farted as loud as I could while they were fucking and I fully sprayed shit all over the couch and ceiling. They kept fucking rooting, so I ran and grabbed the sleeping baby from the other side of the house and wiped my shit off the couch and ceiling onto the baby and then I blamed it on the baby and everyone believed me. So yeah, that's it. I don't really know what to do and I feel really guilty and I feel like a fucking shit person because I literally framed a baby by smearing my shit all over it. I need to make some massive changes in my life. <laughs> and then she just replies with some laugh face emojis. <laughs> You're really fucking insensitive, you know that? <laughs> I'm the insensitive one? Says the boy who just said that story? You're <laughs> fucked, man. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking open, open up to you. I just need a human being to speak to. And of course the one I open up to can't just be nice and have a, and had to laugh at me. This isn't funny to me. That baby was sleeping and I used it to smear and spread my own rum scented slop. I guess you don't have any adv actual advice for me then. Just know the person who laughs at someone's misfortune. And that's an ongoing conversation. Dude, I'm, how did you think of a story that could create like, like, Gets to a point of wiping your shit on a baby. Shit. <laughs> I, don't get, I don't get why these they just all unmatching so quickly. You? Dude, that is, I've, that is new for you. Holy all right. shit. All right, so look, I took a different approach here and I started a bit softer. 
<clears throat> what are you running from most in life? And just take a second to actually think about it, please. Oh, oh yuck, I'm, dude. I'm running from taking risks because I know I, I know I should take because I'm scared of failure. Oh, dude, I can't fucking do this. And why do you think you're so scared of failure when failure is a part of everyday life just as much as breathing? If you really think about it, why does failure scare you? Is it fear of judgment from the failure? Yeah, I guess so. I've always had it drilled into me that I should do do better. Whatever I do is not good enough, so now I think I just don't do the risky things because whatever the outcome, it should have been a better outcome. Logic tells me I am good at a lot of things, so I really have no excuse to just not go out and get it. Yeah, I guess the real fear is, isn't failure. It's other people seeing you fail. You know what I say to those other people? Oh. I say, fuck those c Everyone is just a big dumb shit bitch and f wanker tits with boring sh fuck shit and drag marks and skid shit down their f garden. Like, honestly, the quicker you realize that, that the quicker you will be truly free. If you were the only person on earth, I bet you wouldn't be scared to do anything because there would be no one to judge you. F smash those fears with a heavy brick and keep creaming down at them until you rise up and realize that those pig slags don't mean shit to you. <laughs> anyway, that's my perspective and it seems to be working for me. I've never been happy and I've got a broken leg. And that's an ongoing conversation. Oh my god! Yeah, do a broken leg, dude. That's intense. Well, I'm just trying to help motivate her, man. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and again, I start with a soft approach here. You like this, man? You were hurt in your last relationship, weren't you? What makes you say this? You admire old school and traditional morals, and want a man to treat you with respect and look after you. <laughs> I feel like I can sense your energy. Oh, Yeah, definitely. I just want respect. <laughs> yeah, I can sense that. All my past partners admired the same values. Yeah, what are you looking for? Oh, no. More looking for a bit of a root. If a casual fuck turns into something long term, I'm not against that either. But I will be hacking at a few birds until I find one. I want to sink all my eggs up permanently. Yeah, not me. How do you know? <laughs> I don't think you should ever rule anything out in life. Especially erratic tangle sex if you haven't tried it. Yeah, see ya. Don't be a fool. My nut sludge could make you the happiest you've ever been. No, thanks. You're being selfish. You wouldn't find anyone if you don't branch out and open your beliefs. Open your mind and accept me. I'll find what is meant to find me. That's like losing your car keys and sitting on the couch waiting for your car keys to come and find you. Your car keys are going to stay hidden. You have to look for them, and they may very well be hidden deep within my nut bag and need to be sucked out. Checking different places <laughs> is the only way to start ruling places out and help you actually find your car keys, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's intense too. <laughs> And, and then she unmatched. <laughs> no, <what did> you <laughs> Very that good. Is so fucking insane. So they're just not. They're just not taking. I'm getting lots of nibbles, but I haven't caught any. I wonder what? I haven't caught any fish yet. <laughs> and now I have 24 hours to create more conversations because we're filming our next podcast next week. I mean tomorrow. Oh, man. So I'm nervous about that. Dude, I, I just can't wait to see. Oh, she unmatched that last one, <laughs> didn't she? Yeah, a lot of them haven't unmatched, but, like, oh. they just don't reply, so I'll have to reply again. And then, it, you, you know, you lose the momentum of the conversation. But, look, I'll keep I'll keep trucking along, all right, guys? Oh, I'm, man. I'm, that was I, – I can't – you outdid it there. Like, I, that's a step up to what I'm used to. <laughs> that was so fucking raw. <laughs> yeah, that was – yeah. Wow. I was quite shocked on those last okay. two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, I didn't even laugh. I was just in shock. Oh, man. No, uh, Imagine wow. getting those messages. It's different. It's definitely different. Your wow. time is here for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first take. Ha, 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 ha. It's yeah, prank yeah, call. Yeah. We have our prank call. Play the prank call. Do oh, we? shit. No, we don't. We don't have one. All right, look, it's you fucking fool. prank call time. Which one is it? Okay, so this is what someone texted in. And by the way, if you want us to prank call anyone in your life or you want Matt Brown to deliver some news, please text or call us on 04666 02303. That's our WhatsApp as well. So we 
we will prank call anyone you wish, okay? So this is a suggestion that someone called in, uh, texted in. An old mate of mine, haven't spoken to for ages, I had a breakdown and lost contact, got busted for fraud with a drilling company for using the Ute fuel card when he shouldn't, got off with probation. This was ages and ages ago. I was thinking either his case could have gotten recalled and he has to do time or the company is chasing again or whatever. Now he may explode over this. He, he'll probs work out who set him up and fucking go rank at me. But hey, it could be a laugh. If you call him Stallion, he'll know it's a setup or he might just hang up. Love your work, lad. Sending some hats in the post. Ooh, Ooh. you fuck dogs. You, you, stab, stab, stab. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Hello. Hey, sorry, I think I lost you there, mate. Um, um, I'm a uh, <clears throat> Robert Jenkins, just calling uh, from. Um, am I speaking with a Richard? Yes, sir. Yeah, great. Um, listen, mate, we're, we're just um, I'm he- head of accounts here, um, and we're doing a bit of a backlog on on some of um the old employees and just some of the old processes that were in place, um, and just kind of redoing our budget. I was just wondering if you had a, a second of chat. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, from uh, what we have on record here is that is that you were um using one of the um company cards. I think it used to be called uh from memory. Um, and uh, that uh, you had one of the fuel cards that um that they provided to you. Uh, no, mate. Well, that, that's we've got that on record that um that that's definitely the case, and I can see the transactions that have transpired as well um under that card. So um, basically, my job um for the last couple of weeks, I've just been um calling through um and just um verifying some of these because um the person who kind of handed this um job over to me um kind of didn't do a very thorough job, and we're just seeing a huge amount of discrepancies um of past sort of employees um, abusing their fuel cards. And um, I was just wondering if you knew anything about that. Not at all. Yeah, well, that's not what it says. Um, like I said, I've got the transaction list here um, and there's quite, um, just judging by the, um, the, the amount of driving that you're doing and the amount of fuel that was spent, um, it actually doesn't add up at all. And there's actually uh, a, a, an amount um, outstanding. Where are you getting with this, mate? What was that, sorry? Where are you getting with this? Where am I getting with this? Yeah. Yeah, well, if you just let me finish, mate. I was just about no, to no. There's, just... there's an outstanding amount um, due, um, and we're actually going to have to send out an invoice for you to repay um, the, 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 the outstanding money. It's not everything. But we can clearly work out how much fuel should have been used and how much you've um, actually stolen from the company. Oh, I don't think so, mate. Well, it's up. It's up to eight thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars. The invoice. Okay, we are happy to send it to a debt collector unless we can sort out some kind of arrangement right now. Mate, that's not the case. Right, so you're denying the fact that I, I can see that, that those cards can, were used between heaps of different people, mate. I can I can see right here the transactions, the days that you had the fuel card in your possession, you were going around using it, right, filling up no, huge no, amounts no, of fuel are, and then driving, driving barely anywhere. No, you Sorry, listen, can, it's, I it's, your, can I get your number again? My number, the number that I'm calling from. Mm. And what was your name? My Richard Jenkins. Richard Jenkins, was it? Richard Jenkins, yes, that's right. All right, hang on a minute. I see write this down. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, mate. Write it down. And I'd be more than happy to for you to chat to our supervisor as well, but I'm just letting you know that this matter will be taken further because we have been absolutely – it's been a rort, to be honest. I'm looking through these accounts, and some of these employees, it's its quite frankly, you guys have been taking the piss, and you guys have been absolutely ridiculous with the amount of spending on fuel, and it's clearly not for, for, for work use only, mate. Mate, I wasn't even working for it then. Well, look, mate. I've got all the transactions listed here. I've been hearing so this. So, 2015. I've been yeah, hearing. Okay, hang on. I've been and hearing this. Supervisors. What's your supervisor's been... supervisor name, mate? Carl Pilks. C A R L. C A R L Pilks. P I L K S. I'm not sure why this is relevant. If you'll just hear me no, out, 
If you just hear no, me out. I'm not, I'm not hearing you out, what, what do you yeah, mean, mate? You've, you've stolen from a company, right? You've stolen, and now you're <laughs> telling and now you're telling me you want my supervisor's number, mate. Don't you think Absolutely. that's a bit rich coming from? Don't you think that's a bit rich coming from someone who has completely abused a company privilege that we have given you? That is a privilege. Honestly, you don't go and fuel up. You don't go and fuel recorded. up your cars, mate. This conversation is now being recorded, mate. Yeah, good. I'm glad, mate. So I'm glad it's being recorded. Hang on. No, no, say it again. So, say what again? What you just told me just then. You owe us money for stealing fuel for when you had a company fuel card back when you worked for mate. That money is still owed and we'll be sending out an invoice. And if you fail to pay that, we'll be sending you to debt collectors and there will be legal prosecution. Do you understand me, Richard? Yes, I do, Richard. Richard? Excuse me, my name is not Richard. My name is Robert Jenkins, okay? Get it you right. Now, this Richard is ridiculous. Jenkins, you're I'm now sorry, having a go at me. You, you're having a go at me when you're the one spending company money that is not yours. If I went into your home and took $50 out of your wallet, I'm sure you'd be upset with me, wouldn't you? <laughs> is this a G up or what? What the fuck are you talking about, G up? I want my f money back now. <laughs> this has got to be a GL. Mate, I don't know. Look, okay, it's been a rough day, all right? Everyone has been denying it. It's my job to get this money back, and I'm sick of dealing with this. I can send you on to the debt collector if that's what you want. You've stolen from us. I'd like to know how you got my number, actually. What, what do you mean? It's on the record! It's on the records here! All past employees are on the record. I've got your name, address, and fucking phone number, and you stole from us directly. You got my phone number and my address, do you? Yes! I didn't have this address when I worked for. Not yeah, well, your previous address. What does it matter? I've got your fucking phone number, clearly. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> okay. All right. Look, you're not being very, um, what's the word here? Professional? Yeah, man. well, look, you've got two options, okay? You, you can, we'll, you've got 30 days to pay this invoice, or we send it to a debt collector, or you can come around and suck my dick. And I'll take 4K off the outstanding amount. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. All right, will you come round? Meet me at Chermside Park at 10 p.m. tonight. No cops, and you suck my d for four grand off. But you will still owe $4,317. Fuck yeah. So I get my suck of the billy's worth 4000 bucks, is it? Fuck, you never even had one suck by me. No, you're sucking my d I ain't sucking no d I'm not gay. <laughs> You're not gay. <laughs> okay. All right. Those are yeah, your options. Yeah. What do you want to do? Option A, yeah. B, or C? Yeah, no, I'll come suck your dick. All right. Look, Chermside Park. Tonight, 10 o'clock. Chermside Park, 10 p.m. tonight. If you bring cops, I'm, I swear to God, I'll fucking stab myself. I'll stab myself if you bring cops. And oh, that's good. your no, my no, blood no, no, no. on your hands. <laughs> I won't owe a bill at all then. No, what do you mean? Someone else will take my place and then you'll be prosecuted to the full extent of the law and do time in jail. <laughs> fucking dead set, who is this? What do you fucking mean? I told you I'm Robert Jenkins. Robert Jenkins, okay. And what was your um, supervisor's name again? Carl Pilkins. Pilkins. Do you want, do you want me to put Carl on? Carl! Yeah, Carl! This fuck with another one won't pay the bill! He's one sec. Copy. Will he suck you? Yeah, he reckons he'll suck my dick only for four grand though. Oh. <laughs> Look, Carl's not, Carl's not, Carl's just shrugging. All right, Carl's shrugging. He's told me to deal with it. So, you, so you're gonna meet oh, me. You're at bring Carl down as well. I'll suck his. Dick. We'll call it even. No, Carl's busy. Okay, he's a family man. Meet me at Chermside Park at 10 p.m. and suck my <laughs> c dry, and then four grand cash. Fuck it, I don't have to swallow my day. Well, that's up to you as long as I come. But it's not gay. I'm at my eyes closed. <laughs> right, eh? All right, well, 10 p.m. I'll see you there and stop your fucking stealing, mate. I swear to God, you must have been sculling that fuel the way you used it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, eh?
worries. All right, mate. I'll see you there. And remember, no cops. 10 p.m. No, but you got to stab yourself if cops rock up. Exactly right. You'll fucking see me stab myself. Perfect. Sounds good to me. All right, brother. I'll see you at 10. Righto. <laughs> dude, that took a dark. You are dark today, dude. Well, you, as soon as you said yell, I just lose it. <laughs> That's because I love it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Now I have to go and get sucked off. There's no way out of this now. I have to go and get sucked off at 10 p.m. I could fuck shit, dude. I'm going to have to message Mon now. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man, we got to get out of here. It's so late. Oh, well done. That was fucking oh. great. Thanks for fucking, fucking sending that one in. You're a different human. That you was really a, are a that different, was a different day. We are definitely the best. It's my foot sore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're Matt Brown now. Anyway, You're guys, Matt Bro- Brookhouse. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, right? We're going to do another podcast tomorrow. So fucking we don't have much time to prepare. So just fucking be gentle with our hearts, okay? And our feet. We love you. We love you all so much. Remember, we're the best. We're the tell, best. Tell your uncles, tell your friends, and don't forget to text in some prank calls because we want to get sucked off by all of your mates. <laughs> <laughs> Termside Park. We're the best. 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 We're the best